Hi, this is Noelle Geiger, Star Consultant with Jamboree Nails, and I'm going to give you a quick tutorial on how I put together my mail merge envelopes to send out my samples. The first thing I do is I have an Excel spreadsheet where I keep all of my contacts information with name, street address, city, state, and zip, and then I also have a few additional columns that I use for tracking. Save that file into a place where you know where it is, and then open up, open up Microsoft Word. Once you have Word open, you're going to go to the Mailing tab, and then Start Mail Merge. You want to click on that drop-down box and choose Step-by-Step -step Mail Merge Wizard. That's going to open up a dialog box on the right-hand side of your screen. The first question is select document type, letters, email messages, envelopes, labels, or directory. We're going to choose envelopes and then click next. Select a starting document. How do you want to set up your envelopes? Do you want to use the current document, change your document layout, or start from existing document? I'm going to choose start from existing document and select the envelope template. If yours doesn't show up here, you can click on the open and browse to find it just um, pretty easily. So click on envelope template and choose open and then you're going to click next. Now it's asking me to set up my envelope, envelope options and you want to choose um, whatever size envelope you have and any printing options uh, that are necessary for your individual printer as far as how your uh, printer will print your envelope and then click OK. It's going to ask you um, in order to apply the selected envelope options, Word must delete the current contents of document one. Any unsaved changes to this document will be lost. Click OK and that may adjust your margins. Don't freak out. It's all right. Just select that and use the little slider bar at the top to move that over. If that doesn't work, you can always do the good old fashioned space, 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 space. Okay, so now our document is set up and over here on the right hand side, it's um, asking to select recipients. We're going to choose use an existing list and then click here from the to find the recipient list. We're going to go and locate that wherever you saved it and it should give you an option to select the table. This will give you the, the names of the different sheets that are in your document. I'm going to choose Noel and here at the bottom it says first row of data contains column headers. Click on OK. Gavin, please stop that. Joys of working from home with children. Okay, you're going to have the opportunity to exclude people from the mail merge and I'm just going to take a quick second here to eliminate people that did not have a complete address um, or the few that I know I have already mailed something to. And click OK. So now we have this um, and you're going to click on next, arrange your envelope. Okay, here are options say arrange your envelope. If you've not already done so, lay out your envelope now. To add recipient information to your envelope, click, on a, lo click a location in the document and then click one of the items below. So we're going to click here in the middle and you can tell that brings up a little bit of a box. We're going to add a dress box. Here it says insert address block, specify address elements. Um, a lot of this is not going to be applicable because I put my um, information in just in a more simple format. But you can click through and preview what yours are going to look through, uh, look like as um, they have been entered into the document. These look good, so I'm going to say okay. So you can see it's, a, it's put this here, address block. I'm going to click on next, preview your envelopes, and that gives you a preview again 
and right here you can click through and look at what it looks like for your different recipients. You can choose to exclude a recipient if you find one that um, you don't have a complete address. Um, whenever you have finished previewing the envelopes, then click Next. Okay. The last step is to complete the merge. You can personalize your envelopes further if you like to. You can choose to print um, and merge them to the printer. You can choose to edit individual envelopes. Um, and I like to do this one just so I can save it. So I'm going to choose edit individual envelopes. I can do it. And it's going to give you an option again of what you want to merge. I'm going to choose merge all records. And um, then you can go through, um, this merges everything, whether you've selected to exclude somebody or not, I believe. Um, I could be wrong, but at any rate, you can see that it has created all of your different envelopes. And now to print these, you would simply go to your print preview or printer tab and print them as you would any other document. I hope that you've enjoyed this tutorial. Please excuse the noise in the background. I'm a work-at-home mom. I wish you all the best in your business.